So I have just applied two mascaras on two different eyes, just kind of starting this mascara challenge, um, just to see which mascara I actually truly like the most. Because I know I've tried them and I've worn them on different days and I know kind of what my top five are. However, um, I just actually wanted to see how they compare to each other. So over the next few days, I'm gonna be wearing a couple of my favorite mascaras, one on one eye, one on the other, and then at the end of the day, um, deciding which one I like better and then comparing it to another one. And um, just, I will also show you guys how they wear as well. So today on the right eye, I have the Anastasia, the brand new mascara. And on my left eye here, I have the Hourglass Caution Mascara. So they're two great mascaras. Um, the Anastasia brush is a bit thicker, as you can see there. And um, I find it's a little bit clumpier, maybe. And then this Hourglass brush is just a little bit thinner. So maybe a little easier to work with. I find the thinner brush is sometimes a little bit easier to work with, but again, personal preference. I was actually listening to a benefit uh, call the other day. So our benefit rep at Sephora was saying, on average, I guess women try out eight mascaras until they find their favorite one. Isn't that astonishing? Um, and I guess in general, 88% of women actually wear mascara, which I thought was very cool. So kind of give me a little bit of a, motivation to do this video just to help again i understand that everybody's completely different and is different in what they're looking for but don't feel bad if you've tried out a few mascaras already and you haven't found the one <laughs> but hopefully this will kind of help guide you a little I bit i did want to mention that i'm not wearing any other um eye makeup basically i've just done my brows but i didn't want to wear any shadow or any eyeliner because i really want to show you guys how the mascara actually looks sometimes if you have other makeup on it's hard to really see the mascara and the mascara is going to be the focal point here so again this is the anastasia the brand new mascara and this one is the hourglass the caution mascara both of which i like i'm going to test them out to compare how they wear and um, I will keep you guys posted later at the end of the day. <laughs> I did want to mention that I actually have poker straight natural lashes. So I always curl my lashes first. So yeah, um, like I said, my lashes are normally poker straight. The only reason you can actually see them is because I curled them before I put my mascara on. You never wanna do it when your mascara is already on because then they're gonna get that crinked up look and it's just not very cute. So please make sure if you are curling your lashes, just curl them really good right before you put your mascara on. Hey guys, okay, so it's the end of the day. I am just about to wash my face. Sorry if I sound tired, I kind of am, but anyway. Um, so this is the Anastasia, this is the Hourglass. Funny enough, I actually thought that I have always preferred the Anastasia a little bit. And now that I've worn them side by side, I feel like I'm leaning the other way now. Um, when I first put them on, right away I did notice the Hourglass just seemed like, just my lashes looked more full, I would say. Um, throughout the day, I would say midday, they kind of seemed like they were about even. And now towards the end of the night, I'm just finding that it's starting to smudge underneath here. And it's also flaking off, which I'm kind of bummed about. Um, so I often have the problem with smudging on my eyes. I, I would say I have more eye, oily eyelids. I think that's why that happens. So this is definitely a common problem for me and why I struggle to find a mascara that I really, really love. Um, however, I would say overall the Anastasia is quite nice, but if you're looking more for long wear, I would say the Hourglass, I would have to say, I prefer. What do you guys think? <laughs> I just feel like here that I don't really see any uh, black smudginess underneath. I definitely don't see any flakes. I don't know if you can tell, but I do just have some tiny little black flakes here. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think.